I, I lead groups of elders every week, and um, they're my teachers. We are each other's teachers. And um, one of the things that is true, as I said, is we are all in mourning. And I don't think of that as a bad thing. If you think mourning and mourning, um, M-O-U-R and M-O-R-N, that we are constantly losing things um, and we're welcoming new insights and in filling up that space that we lost. At the same time, it's really important to do the mourning. I don't want to be so light-sided as to say that everything is just glorious and wonderful. If you have pain and you have uh, uh, loss and you're watching someone you love die, it is not light. It is heavy. And it is also down to the nitty-gritty, the center, the ground of life. And because of that, it's profound. So there, aren't, there isn't a lot of frivolity, but there's a lot of humor and laughter uh, because you get the whole picture, and you really get it. You get it in your insides. And so it's a profound period of life, and it makes you love and live and enjoy and take and stay alive. Mm. It takes both sides. Mm. And it's the paradox of aging. We lose everything, we find everything. Mm. <clears throat> I just finished writing about paradoxes, all the paradoxes of age. And this, uh, we've just hit <clears throat> a crucial one. Mm -hmm. We're losing all the time in all the ways that we know about. And at the same time, we're finding everything that, that's important. And both are true. And maybe one, maybe it takes one to have the other.